Welcome to Cosplay Daisy! This is my first official tutorial. I wanted to make this channel for forever, but I never got around to actually filming my cosplays or making videos out of them. So today we're going to look at making the Winter Soldier's arm. So it's built onto a sleeve that just slides up your arm and there's a glove under there that's attached to the sleeve so it's all one solid, well it's not all one solid piece, but it attaches like it's all one solid piece. So it's really easy to take on and take back on. You just have to be careful when you take it off because you don't want to break any part of the hand. It's kind of like taking off a really thick glove. You can detach the hand from the arm if you like. I prefer to keep them attached because it's honestly easier to put it on and take it off with it all being one piece. So let's get to it. I apologize that this tutorial is a little rough. It's not my first time recording but it is my first time trying to instruct people and put this whole thing together for the internet. I don't have one of those pretty tutorial internet voices that sound like an angel crawling out of an anime so I apologize bear with me I'm going to be posting this on YouTube and it's going to be written up as a blog on my tumblr and my WordPress so if you'd rather read about it instead of listening to me talk I will put the links to those in the description box all right let's start with supplies you're gonna need a long sleeve preferably light colored so when you color the whole arm later it'll take to the sleeve and you won't have to explain why there's sleeves sticking out of your arm. I got a light gray shirt for like three bucks at Goodwill so that's what I would recommend just go Goodwill hunting and then cut off a sleeve and you can use the rest for whatever the hell you want. The main ingredient of this variation is plaster. This is a last minute hero. I bought a bunch of expensive totally raved about cosplay products that I thought were going to be amazing and none of them wanted to work for me whatsoever. I couldn't even get them to cooperate. So I played around with my leftover plaster roll from making masquerade masks and it works perfectly. You can get it at Joann's or Michael's. You might even be able to find it at Walmart. I usually get it at Joann's or Michael's because coupons and whatever. So get yourself some of that. A big roll is a better idea but you could probably make do with a small one. Specifically for the use of the plaster, you're going to need some warm water. You can get a bucket or just plug up the sink. I did it all in the bathroom so I could just keep running water when I needed it. You can use cold water too, but the plaster absorbs the temperature of the water and you don't really want to be covering yourself in cold plaster unless it's really hot where you live. So I would definitely recommend warm water. And like almost any cosplay project ever, you're going to need some scissors. For the hand, you're going to want a light colored glove again so you can cover up any revealing material with paint. I just cut out a quick glove using the remains of the shirt that I bought for the sleeve. You can do that or you can just buy a glove at the dollar store or somewhere. The best part about this project is the silver metallic paint, spray paint. So I didn't realize how wonderful this stuff would be when I bought it. It literally pulled the entire piece together. It kind of looked like crap. You could see all the flaws, but once I covered it in metallic silver paint, it's perfect. It kind of makes it look all shiny like foil and it actually looks like metal. So silver metallic paint, I think it's just called metallic and it's got a silver cap. So get some of that. And you're also going to need red spray paint for the star. You can use bottle paint if you like. I had to for some paint that chipped off. But I also did most of it for with spray paint. So whatever's easier. This was a last second thought. You're going to need some masking tape and maybe some old newspaper. This is going to be for when you color the star, you're going to want to cover up the area around the star so you only paint the star red, unless you're brush painting, in which case it doesn't matter, but then you'll need to cover the star when you coat the rest of it in silver so you don't cross colors and make it harder to paint. Also not pictured, you're going to need a pen or a marker for later in the project when you map out where the divots and dents are going to be in the arm. And for that same reason, you're going to need an X-Acto knife. This is going to be your best friend through this project. 
So you're going to start by coating your sleeved arm in plaster according to the directions. It's super easy. Just cut a piece off, dip it in water, smooth it down with your fingers to plug up some of the holes and wipe off the excess water so it doesn't drip everywhere, and press it where you want it to go. I started recording after I started this step because I originally had another plan for this project, so I didn't get the beginning, but... Doing your forearm is super easy, but you'll want someone to help you with the back set of your upper arm, especially if you have to move or adjust the camera or hold it while you're recording it. Getting the back of your shoulder where you can't really see is going to be really difficult, especially with the plaster being wet and dripping everywhere, so I had my little brother help coat my arm. Move your arm around as the plaster dries so you can see where it's stuck, see if there's any pieces that didn't get covered. You want to cover as much sleeve as you possibly can while still having use of your arm. The nice thing about these materials is that you can still bend your arm and wiggle your fingers and all that good stuff. So just make sure you cover up as much of the sleeve as you can. So here I just added another strip of fabric from the shirt that I cut the sleeve from so that the arm would go up a little higher because Bucky's arm kind of attaches right under his neck, right at the start of his shoulder. Here's a close-up of me finalizing the elbow. So you just add strips of plaster to the part that's already covering your arm and leave a little bit of space unplastered right there on the elbow where your arm bends. And now for the hand. This is why you need the glove. It's the exact same process, but you're going to use smaller strips of plastic because you got to coat your fingers and your knuckles and the top part of your hand front and back. So I managed to do this by myself while propping my camera up on something. So if you need to hold the camera, then you're going to need some assistance. But otherwise, you can totally do this by yourself. It just might get a little messy, which is why I did all of this in the bathroom. So I could just... So you see that I've done all the knuckles and fingertips. So I just did one strip of plastic around the upper part of the hand. I think I did a second one later. You don't need to do the rest of your hand because black glove that Bucky wears is going to cover the rest of that. So once it's all dry, you're going to lay it down somewhere. I sat at the table. You can go wherever you want with it. And you're going to draw out the details of his arm, the divots and the cracks and where the metal slides together and the part of the star and all of this is going to be carved out in a little bit. Then you're going to take your X-Acto knife and carve along all of the lines you just made. Most of it you're just carving into the line and leaving the pieces where they are, but there are a couple spots where I actually carved little pieces out so it looked like it was hollow. And you'll see that when I go over everything close up. After I carved up all the lines out, I went over the entire thing with white paint. You could use paint primer or gesso or whatever the hell you want. 
It just helps to cover up any of the holes in the plaster that didn't get smoothed out in making the arm. I didn't record any of the painting because I didn't even think about it, but it's really simple. I started with the star and put masking tape and newspaper all around it so that the star was secluded, doused it in red spray paint, and once that was totally dry, I covered up the star in masking tape and newspaper and doused the rest of the arm and the hand in silver. And that really pulls the entire project together. The silver metallic spray is beautiful, gives that that metally shininess. Like it literally looks like I folded it out of aluminum foil. It's perfect. You might want to go over it a couple of times to make sure you get in all the cracks and all the extra pieces between the pieces of plaster and make sure you cover the hand really well. I had to go back and go in between the fingers several times. And then to finish it off you'll need a black fingerless glove to go over the hand. I pieced one together really quick out of an old black shirt. You could get a biker glove or a workout glove or just cut the fingers off a glove from the dollar store. Whatever works for you at the time. And there you go, your arm is done.